The Euro partners have to do several things, and I'm happy to come back to that, with the US and Japan really focus on anchoring the mid-term policy on solid fiscal consolidation and where the emerging market economies, particularly those that are, are in a surplus position, can actually focus a bit more on the domestic consumption rather than rely extensively on either investment or exports. Now turning to Europe, if you will, um, we have said, and I say to whoever I meet here in Davos, that it will require uh, different uh, movements. One on growth, clearly, because that's most needed. There is too much unemployment around the world. There is too much unemployment in the Eurozone in particular. They must concentrate on developing a credible and solid firewall, and they must integrate better, so that in addition to being a good monetary zone, they also have a fiscal uh, region that is well coordinated. The outcome in Greece uh, will result from collective efforts. Uh, it will require a clearly deliverable adjustment by the country. It will require the private sector involvement, significant and substantial, and it will probably require official support. Official support has already uh, been delivered uh, in, the, in the past. Clearly there is a program underway, but all of that will have to come together and probably be updated in the face of these new economic developments that have affected the country. Don't forget that the IMF is a, a, a guardian of stability and a builder of confidence. And there's a lot to be done at the moment. Uh, there's a lot to be done and we probably need more, uh, more funding to be able to respond to a time of crisis. That's the reason why we have started negotiating, discussions, exploring options uh, with our membership at large, uh, because it is our membership at large that we care for. So we're not raising funds for the purpose of funding the euro area uh, exclusively. We are in the uh, raising fund exercise for the benefit of the entire community just in case there were collateral damages, just in case there were spillover effects uh, arising out of the crisis in the Eurozone.